Welcome back to Cooking It Right, the channel that takes home cooks to the next level. Picture this, it's the late 19th century on the rocky shores of New England, where lobsters are as abundant as pebbles on the beach. At a time when the sea was teeming with these crustaceans, they were not the delicacy that we know and love today. In fact, they were considered the cockroaches of the sea, a lowly food for the poor and prisoners. Imagine being a lobsterman in those days, pulling in catch after catch of these marine creatures, only to find that they were barely worth the effort. The lobsters were bountiful, yes, but their value was low and their appeal was even lower. Even with their unique taste and texture, Lobsters struggled to shake off their reputation as bottom dwellers, a food fit only for those who had no other choice. But as we know, necessity is the mother of invention. And so, in the face of this culinary conundrum, the lobster roll was conceived. The idea was simple yet ingenious. Take this abundant, underappreciated resource and transform it into something new, something portable, something appealing. The lobster roll started as a humble sandwich, a way to feed the masses without breaking the bank. Lobsters were cooked and picked, their meat mixed with a little mayo, then spooned onto a toasted buttered roll. It was a simple, unpretentious dish, but it was also a revelation. Suddenly lobster was not just the food of the poor, but a treat that could be enjoyed by anyone, anywhere. It was a dish that celebrated the bounty of the sea and the ingenuity of the people who lived by it. The lobster roll was more than just a sandwich. It was a symbol of New England's resilience and resourcefulness. And thus, the humble lobster roll was born, a beacon of ingenuity in a sea of culinary monotony. With the birth of the lobster roll, the culinary landscape of New England was forever changed. And what a change it was. This seafood sandwich started its journey as a humble dish, served at roadside stands, but quickly became a beloved regional specialty. The lobster roll's origins are somewhat shrouded in mystery, but we know that it found its footing in Connecticut in the early 20th century. Back then, it was a simple affair Fresh lobster meat lightly tossed in melted butter, heaped onto a hot dog bun. No frills, no fuss, just the sweet taste of lobster shining through. As the 20th century progressed, the lobster roll began to evolve. With the rise of tourism in New England, visitors flocked to the coast, hungry for a taste of the region's seafood. The lobster roll, with its perfect blend of simplicity and indulgence, was an instant hit. It wasn't long before this seaside snack started to make waves beyond New England. As its, its, its fame spread, so did its variations. Some began to dress the lobster meat in mayonnaise, others added celery or scallions, and some even dared to sprinkle in a dash of paprika or a squeeze of lemon. Yet, despite these tweaks, the essence of the lobster roll remained the same. At its heart, it was always about celebrating the fresh, sweet taste of the lobster. And that's what made it a true classic. Over the years, the lobster roll has continued to evolve, reflecting the changing tastes and trends of the times. Today, you can find versions of the lobster roll that range from the traditional to the truly avant-garde each one, a testament to the enduring appeal of this New England delicacy. But no matter how much it changes, the lobster roll never strays too far from its roots. It's a reminder of summer days spent by the sea, of the simple joy of a meal shared with loved ones. From a simple sandwich, the lobster roll has evolved into a symbol of New England culinary tradition. And what a delicious tradition it is. Like any great dish, the lobster roll is not immune to regional variations. In fact, the lobster roll's identity is deeply rooted in the culinary traditions of New England, each state adding its own twist to this classic seafood delight. 
Let's start with the two main styles that have emerged from this region. The Connecticut style is a warm, butter-drenched version of the lobster roll. Here, fresh lobster meat is typically tossed in melted butter, piled into a toasted bun, and served warm. This style is a testament to simplicity, allowing the natural sweetness of the lobster to take center stage. On the other hand, we have the main style lobster roll. This variation is served cold with chunks of lobster meat lightly tossed in mayonnaise. The mayo isn't there to overpower the lobster, but to complement its rich flavor. It's often served with a side of chips or fries, and sometimes even a pickle. This style is reminiscent of a classic picnic. A delightful nod to the state's love for outdoor gatherings and seaside meals. Now, while these two styles are the most recognized, they are by no means the only ways to enjoy a lobster roll in New England. For example, some places in Massachusetts prefer a mix of both styles, serving their lobster rolls with a combo of mayo and melted butter. Meanwhile, in Rhode Island, you might encounter a clear broth lobster roll, a minimalist version that highlights the lobster's fresh, briny, taste. And let's not forget about the bun. Although a top split hot dog bun is the traditional choice, variations can be found here too. Some places opt for a baguette, others a brioche roll. Despite these differences, there's a common thread that ties these variations together. The use of fresh, locally sourced lobster. It's this commitment to quality that makes the lobster roll a staple of New England cuisine. No matter the style, one thing remains constant. The lobster roll is a beloved part of New England's culinary identity. Fast forward to today, the lobster roll has transcended its regional roots and captured the hearts of seafood lovers worldwide. Its charm and allure have been magnified, making it a culinary symbol of New England and a bucket list item for food enthusiasts across the globe. The lobster roll has not only permeated the menu of gourmet restaurants, but it's also found a comfortable spot in the world of fast food. It's quite a sight to see this seafood delight, once considered a poor man's food, now gracing the menu of high-end eateries and fast food chains alike. From the luxurious tables of Michelin-starred restaurants in Paris and New York, to the bustling counters of food trucks in Los Angeles and Sydney, the lobster roll has truly become a global sensation. What's more, the lobster roll's rise to stardom isn't limited to the restaurant scene. Every year, the city of Portland, Maine hosts the Lobster Roll Festival, a gastronomic gala that celebrates this iconic dish. The festival attracts thousands of lobster roll aficionados who flock to taste, compare, and indulge in the best lobster rolls that chefs and home cooks can offer. It's a testament to the enduring popularity of this simple yet satisfying sandwich. But despite its worldwide fame and the many variations that have emerged, the lobster roll remains, at its core, true to its New England roots. Whether it's a main style roll with chilled lightly dressed lobster meat, or a Connecticut style roll with lobster drenched in warm butter, the essence of the lobster roll lies in its simplicity. It's all about the fresh, succulent lobster, a soft, buttery roll, and the love and care that goes into preparing this beloved dish. The lobster roll has come a long way from its humble beginnings, but it still remains true to its roots. It's a testament to the power of simplicity, a symbol of New England's culinary heritage, and a beloved dish that continues to charm seafood lovers, one delicious bite at a time. Now that you know the history of the lobster roll, why not try making one for yourself? We're going to start with the basics, a traditional main style lobster roll. It's all about simplicity and letting the lobster shine. So, first things first, you'll need fresh lobster. The fresher the better, so if you can, get your hands on a live lobster. Boil it in a pot of salted water until it's bright red. This should take about 8 to 12 minutes. 
Once your lobster is cooked, let it cool down. Then it's time for the E slightly messy part. Roll up your sleeves and get ready to separate the meat from the shell. You're looking for the sweet, tender chunks of meat in the claws and the tail. Now, let's talk about the roll. A New England style hot dog bun is the traditional choice. You'll want to lightly butter and toast it until it's golden brown. This gives you that perfect combination of crunch and softness. Next comes the dressing. You might be surprised to find out that the traditional Maine lobster roll doesn't involve a lot of fancy sauces. Instead, it's all about the mayo, but not too much. Just enough to lightly coat the lobster. Add a squeeze of lemon juice, a dash of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper. Mix it all together and pile it high on your toasted roll. And there you have it, a traditional Maine lobster roll. But remember, this is your lobster roll. Want to add some celery for crunch? Go for it. Prefer a little bit of lettuce. Why not? Maybe you want to try it with a drizzle of melted butter instead of mayo. It's all up to you. The beauty of the lobster roll is its simplicity. It's a dish that respects the lobster, its star ingredient, but it's also a dish that invites creativity. So don't be afraid to make it your own. Remember, the best lobster roll is the one you make yourself. Enjoy, and there you have it, the fascinating history of the lobster roll. We've journeyed together from the humble beginnings of this delectable dish to its evolution and spread across New England. We've explored the unique variations that each region brings to the table, showcasing the creativity and diversity of this mouth-watering delicacy. We've seen how the lobster roll has gained its rightful place in today's culinary scene, enjoyed by locals and tourists alike. And of course, we've shared some tantalizing recipes for you to try at home, allowing you to bring a piece of New England's culinary heritage right into your kitchen. Thank you for joining us on this gastronomic adventure. It's been a pleasure to share the captivating tale of the lobster roll with you. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the history of the lobster roll, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Until next time, stay hungry, my friends.